Hi guys, hope you're well. We're gonna make roast beef. People love it and I love it. It's a wonderful treat. I'm gonna show you how to prepare this, do the trivet. We're gonna cook it, we're gonna rest it, and we're gonna carve it and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. I've got three cuts of beef here that are very, very common. I've got the top side of beef. That's the most affordable and it's leaner. We've got the sirloin of beef here. Now you know the sirloin steak, but this is a chunk to roast. It's easy to carve, quicker to cook, and it's always tender. And then roast four rib of beef. It will easily serve 10 people and the leftovers of all of this is amazing. So the preparation is the same for all three cuts. Top side of beef I'm gonna do. And what's really important is get your meat out of the fridge one hour before you wanna cook it. And that way it will stay juicier and more tender. Give it a little drizzle with some olive oil. Give it a nice little rub up. And then I wanna season it quite generously with salt and pepper. Rub it over and just roll the meat all over the seasoning. Put a little oil into a tray. Let's get that on a high heat. And first of all, I just want to get some colour on this beef and start to sear it. Now what you'll notice is the top side is very lean. But if we look at the sirloin and the forerib, I wouldn't have to add oil to that. I would score the fat like this and I will place it fat side down in a pan and render the beef fat. Once you feel you've got a little bit of colour, get some tongs and turn it over. Now while this is browning off, I want to make a trivet and just clank up some celery, about half a celery, one onion, a whole bulb of garlic, and then two carrots just cut into big chunks. And then herb-wise, I love using a few bay leaves and some rosemary. All of this goes in. Now this trivet is going to do two things. First of all, it soaks up all the juices from the beef and it creates the basis for the most incredible gravy or jus to go with your roast beef. Secondly, you can see you put the beef on top, so that way it's not frying on the bottom of the tray. This top side of beef is gonna go straight into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit for an hour and a quarter. So for all the cooking times for the beef or any other cut of meat, then just click over to jamieoliver.com and I've got a whole load of stuff that will support you. Get it absolutely right every single time. So look at that, really beautiful. Let it rest for half an hour. If it's an even bigger cut of meat, let it go 40 minutes, 45 minutes. When you're roasting meats or even grilling meats, you know, that heat is pushing the moisture into the middle, right? So you need to let it rest just so the moisture comes back, right? So it's juicier and more tender and, and it just lets it get to a better temperature. Have a look in this tray. All this love is going to be the basis of your gravy. Put it onto a high heat, add some flour. A heaped tablespoon will go in so we get a nice thick gravy. Then just squeeze all the beautiful garlic out of the skins. I can mush up the onions. I'm going to use a little red wine, just a little half glass. Goes in, roast beef, red wine. It makes sense, right? The smell is absolutely amazing. The little secret ingredient that I love is just some beautiful jam. That little sweetness really helps the gravy sing really, really nicely. About a litre of stock goes in. Bring this to the boil and then simmer this for about half an hour, the same time you rest the meat and it's gonna be delicious. In the half an hour that it's taken for the beef to rest, lots of beautiful things happen. If you see in our little platter here, you get juices that come out. You put those juices into your gravy. Pour that gravy through a coarse sieve. You look how gorgeous and thick and wonderful that gravy is. One little tip on the gravy, if you just pull it to the side of the gas hob, as it boils, it will push any kind of fatty bits or any scummy bits to one side. And you can get rid of that. And we've got lovely boiling gravy. Then let's talk about the meat. Now, when it comes to the carving, you know, with a sirloin or a forib, it's very, very tender. You know, with a top side, it will be tender, but it is a little bit leaner, so we want to go nice and fine. You need to invest in a nice, long carving knife. So get the carving knife and do nice, long strokes. Go as thin as you can, so you can see this beef is nice, juicy, and blushing. If you cook it 15 minutes less, you can go medium rare. This is medium. Look at that. What a joy. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, no roast is finished without roast potatoes and Yorkshire puddings. This is the kind of food that just makes you so happy. I've got some horseradish sauce, which is one of my favorites. Beautiful. And then hot gravy, gorgeous, dark, rich gravy. So good. It's not right unless you fill up the Yorkshire pudding with gravy, come on. So look at that, guys. 
the most incredible roast beef with all the trimmings. If you want the recipes for the Yorkshire puddings, the perfect roast potato, the horseradish, then go to jamieolive.com where the recipes are and thousands more. There you go, guys. Fill your boots and get cooking.